Welcome to M&M Specialist Auctioneer's auction preview for tomorrow's vintage toy models and specialist collectibles auction. I'll be running through some of the lots in tomorrow's sale, a quick walk around the sale room and pointing out a few of the sections within tomorrow's auction. Uh, we're starting here with uh, some of the hand-built aircraft that we've got coming up, some really nice Code 3 variants on uh, kits that have been produced uh, by Mr. Farah. Some of you may recall the name with those. We've got off-the-shelf boxed die-cast aircraft from Corgi and a few other makers mixed in, military, civilian and other aviation models. Some quite nice uh, larger pieces there as well, as you can see. Just spinning around. Actually, I'll highlight the, uh, the Tudor Rose Space Explorer there. Interesting piece and not often seen, especially in that colour variant as well. Also in complete condition from a childhood collection that. So one owner since new. We've got a nice Triang Pickfords Code 3 van there as well. I'll keep going. Marklin steam plants. And then as we walk around, some scale electrics. And moving on to some of the Playworn general diecast lots. We've got quite a few of these lots in tomorrow's sale from various vendors. Conditions do vary, most of them obviously with playware on them, but some nice sizable lots to uh, to look forward to and of course some of the tv related pieces that many of you will be familiar with we'll keep going around again the uh, the loose die cast continues in earnest there and we continue going round to some boxed later issue corgi and dinky issues a few nice James Bond pieces, the uh, the gold Danbury Mint, you can't see it there but it is in the white box, nice example of the gold Danbury Mint, Aston Martin there. I will open this box here, again another childhood collection of uh, Dinky and Corgi die cast there, played with in most cases, with wear but uh, with boxes on these. And uh, that is being sold as one lot. And uh, should be uh, interesting, that one. We'll move around. And we'll move across. To some of the uh, cabinet models there. Uh, in this cabinet, we've got uh, the multiple matchbox lots, uh, mostly the groups of nine X, X shop stock condition, these. Uh, really nice condition and a uh, good opportunity as well with the multiples and uh, some nice, really nice pieces within those lots, which you can see online. Just a few close-ups there as we move through super fast issues there. And then we move on to some of the uh, the top end models from uh, top end toys in tomorrow's auction. We start with the Corgis. Again, some of these in fantastic condition, original condition as well. Leaflets and all with the uh, the boxes and accessories, etc. Several vendors within these uh, these diecast issues. Primrose, Dinky 238 there, just missing the wheel steering wheel unfortunately, but um, again, rare to find with the wheel variation there. Move on to some Dinkies. Nice Corgi gift set. Again, the vehicle's superb, superb condition. Trade box. Meccano sign. A lot of uh, interest in this one prior to the sale. The spot-ons, again, a fantastic little spot-on section we've got tomorrow. Some New Zealand issues, the uh, the water ambulance there, and uh, a lovely uh, pocket set 
Again, absolutely superb in terms of condition on those. Real Premier League die-cast toys on offer tomorrow. We'll keep going round. Some TV related. And we move on to more shelf models then. We'll start with the two huge Batmobiles, Argentinian. Don Carmelo's there, black and white variants with boxes. Again, pretty big. You can get the scale, scope of scale with those. Looking in comparison to the uh, Corgi, Corgi sets there. Again, Batman themed, really nice pieces. Export set. Nice Lincoln Stingray. Again. Models continue there. Bunny Bird 5, again, a lovely piece, that one. Brit's Farm Wagon is in the catalogue tomorrow. And two more Batmobiles, again, Argentinian issues, Chibi. Again, you don't come across those very often at all. Uh, and the F1 steering wheel, something a bit different in tomorrow's sale. We're moving to one of the uh, cabinets and some of the farm items tomorrow, Vintage Farm. Again, hard to come by some of these issues. The Mears and Son tractor there, the Spot On tractor and the Moco Rake. Moving down, the Action Combine again, hard to find in that condition, complete with no damage. They are really fragile pieces. And over time, the plastic does tend to fail that one. We can't see anything wrong with it. So it's a superb piece. Just behind that, you'll see the, uh, the Clifford-esque Forson tractor and trailer. Um, produced for the uh, the Japanese toy maker there in the Japanese box present set and then the uh, the Lipkin set there as well so some lovely shelf models in tomorrow's sale we'll keep going round model kits featuring tomorrow as well some Good opportunities then within these kits. Some of them sealed. You say that's not been opened. Not been opened. Most of these lots have kits within them that are all still sealed. We'll continue rounds. The Pocha. Two Pocha kits there. This one um, is pretty much as new. Hasn't been uh, started. All the parts in the bags. The one below, the Rolls-Royce. Um, the the vendor had sorted the parts into pots ready for assembly but unfortunately didn't get round to it but uh, as far as I'm aware it's unstarted uh, some nice we'll go actually around the other side to view this these so uh, some Star Wars kits and then we move on to some of the figures kits again from a single vendor these uh, airfix figures the box is in really, really nice condition. Really nice, really clean. Fantastic artwork on those. Again, more figures, as you can see there. Quick peek there at some of the Action Man items. Unfortunately, the boxes uh, aren't in fantastic order. Um, and most of them, we're not 100% sure they're complete, but most of it's there. And you can probably obtain some of the bits here and there online, etc. But uh, nice to have a little section on Action Man as always. We keep on going through again back to some boxed later issue Dinky Diecast there, and uh, again another interesting section: some carded Street Fighter figures. Um, again, they are becoming increasingly sought after, and these all factory sealed, not been opened at all and should do quite well tomorrow. PlayStation there always uh, seems to do quite well with the games. And interesting shop counter box of uh, Panini Secret Wars stickers. Again, just very, very hard to find a counter box all on open those packs, aside from a few loose ones, but uh, should do quite well tomorrow. 
we'll keep on going anyone into modeling we've got a pretty much as new airbrush and uh, compressor there never been opened so uh, opportunity tomorrow for that and we could get towards the end of this preview now to get more general toy lots old toys and uh, some interesting bits and pieces monster in my pocket again quite collectible some nice tremo waterline ships there and we complete the preview back to the action man now. so uh, so yeah just a bit a bit of a quick walk around the uh, the sale room for tomorrow's event join us live online we'll be uh, kicking off from 10 o'clock tomorrow morning you can bid live via m m, m auctions our website bidding platform is there to be used or the sale room or easy live or even live auction is tomorrow we uh, will be selling throughout the day so uh, hopefully join join or hopefully you'll be joining us in tomorrow's auction and uh, hopefully you've enjoyed that little walk around of uh, tomorrow's event uh, cracking start to look forward to and we'll hopefully see you tomorrow 10 a.m we start so we'll see you then thank you